Now, earlier this week, I made the 30-minute trip over to Williams High School to talk with a freshman that was selected to play football for Team USA and has more varsity experience as a freshman than some people ever see. Here's Martin Soria on Guy Time. It's Guy Time. I'm here with Martin Soria, freshman at Williams High School. Now, Martin, you start varsity for all three sports. You're point guard for basketball. You started football. You're in the middle of baseball season yeah. out there at left field. How has the game changed <clears throat> from your eighth grade year, where you dominated, to your freshman year as a first year varsity experience? Well, knowing that you're the best player on that field, it, it makes it easy. But once you come up here, it's like a different experience. It's faster. You just got to slow it down. Um, and my work, my work on my offseason made it easier for me, you know, going out, out on the field and competing against all the people. But you just got to get that job done, you know, just you got to get that job done because if not, you're going to let your team down. Now, a lot of freshmen don't get this that much experience, especially, you know, at the varsity level. How do you use the experience that you've had this year moving forward into your sophomore year, your junior year, your senior year, and ultimately to the college level? My experience from all of this is knowing never to give up, play till the last whistle, play till, you know, you never know when your last time is going to be playing, so might as well play 100% while you can. You were selected for the under-16 USA football team. You just got back from Dallas playing in the Cowboys' new stadium a couple weeks ago. What was that experience like? It was fun. It was fun. Uh, I got to experience a lot of new people, coaches. Got to not meet a lot of new coaches. Fun playing with them. Uh, fun playing with some of my teammates down there. I mean, there's a lot of new competition they had, but you know, I brought it and I showed them how it's done. And coming from a small town, you know, it's hard, but you just got to give it your all and never stop 100% throughout everything and yep. whatever. Yo, comes and out. Martin, uh, thank you thanks, very much man. for joining me. And watch out for this kid in the future. He's going to be a stud. I already know.